Oh, hello. Oh, do you like do you like the light box? I'm very pleased that I've just got it working. Well, not just, I mean, uh, in the last week or so. And uh, I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice in the shop. It, makes, it just gives it something more visually interesting. Anyway, I want to talk to you about my new Python course. For the last, oh, incidentally, I guess I would say that this, this video is sponsored by, well, I guess it's sponsored by me because I've talked to you about a, a course that I've done and I have and I'm going to be selling at some point. So yes, this video is sponsored by me. So for the last, oh, I don't know, I've been planning to do a, a complete and comprehensive course on Python for a long time. I mean, for, for about 18 months. And I just didn't have time to get around to it because I wanted to do it properly. And I just haven't had the time, what with work and family commitments and all of that. And uh, so there was no point, there was no point. I didn't want to release one that wasn't good enough and, and didn't cover what I wanted it to cover. So I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And eventually I started, um, well, I got a call from someone at 365 Data Science and they asked me whether I'd do this course with them. And it was just the sort of kick up the backside that I needed to get the course done. So I've teamed up with them and we've created a Python course. And I'm really pleased with it because it's just the course that I would have wanted when I was learning and that didn't exist. So one of the problems I think with learning programming and a lot of the books and courses that you see and buy and spend your money on is that they're very good at teaching you syntax. They're almost like a manual for the for the language. So it's like the manual for your car. It tells you, you know, how the gearbox works and how the steering wheel works and what all the indicator buttons do, but it doesn't actually teach you how to drive. And I found that with a lot of Python courses and Python books. You know, it'll say that this is how you create a variable and if you've got a string, you can put dot upper and it'll convert it to uh, uppercase and you can put dot lower and it'll convert it all to lowercase. And it tells you, you know, it goes through the manual, if you like, tells you what everything does. But that doesn't really help you when you actually want to program because what you want to do is learn how to use that language. You need to learn how all those things work so that you can put them together and then write programs that solve problems because that's what you want to do, right? You want to solve problems. The syntax is easy, really. I mean, you know, it's okay. You have to get familiar with it, but you know, the interpreter itself will tell you where you've you know, made a mistake on the, on the syntax. Those are the easy problems to, uh, to correct and those are the easy things to learn. The real difficulty is in the thinking, in the logic. Uh, and you know, a lot of courses, I don't think, spend enough time covering that. And so the course that I've created, I hope, fills that gap. I hope that you know, alongside teaching you the syntax, it teaches you how to use what you've learned. Uh, and as we go along, we build up on, on what we've learned and we look at problems that can be solved using the, the Python that we've already learned. And then we introduce new, new things. So we start with the print function and variables, and then we look at you know, strings and for loops, and then we move on to lists, and we gradually expand what we're learning. But it's not just a load of syntax. You know, Here's a for loop, this is how you can print out the numbers from one to 10. We look at how you can then start to problem solve using these new parts of the language that we're introducing. And the focus of the course that I've created is very much on applying what you've learned uh, as soon as you possibly can and getting you to think you know, computationally. Because I think you learn Python by, by using it and by being faced with problems that you don't know how to solve straight away and that you have to think about and sort of work your way through to a solution. And so I've really focused on that. Along the way, we cover what I think are some really interesting problems, which we break down into smaller parts and then solve using Python. And the focus really is on, you know, using, developing that skill of uh, thinking logically and then translating that thought process into code so that you can solve the problem in front of you. That's, you know, how I've approached the course. And, and that's why I think it's different. And that's why I think, or I hope it's gonna be really useful. There's a link to it in the description. I'd really like to know what you think of it.